Um, some of the challenges as a student veteran um, would probably be just trying to fit in with the, the other students. As you know, a non-traditional student is much older than a lot of the other students. After transitioning from military, I ended up getting into some legal trouble, I ended up getting incarcerated. Well, coming from that um, to school, that was pretty much a real, real, real difficult transition. I kind of felt like I didn't belong. Um, you know, but the second chance has basically put me in contact with a lot of different in individuals that's basically helped me grow. Yeah, um, the biggest challenge that I've had so far is just finding a stable, like, finding stability in my life and finding a stable place to stay. Um, I kind of had a little bit of a, an issue or I kind of had a little bit of difficulty finding out how to function as a civilian. Um, I have had to write a resume for the first time in nine years. I've had to um, get back into job search, um, finding my own place to stay. And it, it's been kind of hard juggling that along with juggling how to be a student. Um, and the PAVE team has really helped me with that. I didn't understand, I didn't know how many resources were available to not only veterans themselves, but student veterans, mm -hmm. um, especially on campus. And just um, the community, the veteran community in general, um, because when we transition from the military, we kind of lose those relationships, mm -hmm. right? And right. so um, I thought those relationships were gone forever. Mm -hmm. um, but coming back to, to campus and school, um, I've, rec I've realized that those relationships are still there, they still exist, mm -hmm. um, just with a new group of people. So the family okay. is still there. Yeah. I truly believe that, yes. Um, my paid advisor is actually a Air Force veteran such as myself, so I immediately connected with her on a certain level. And um, I would, I was that kid that came up to the PAVE office and I sat there and uh, I just wanted to talk, you know, so she was there to talk most of the time and she always checked up on me and uh, I tried to do the same thing for my students, so. So far, yes, um, I just, I'm in a place where I don't really have uh, solid connections. I, I, this is new, this isn't the place that I joined the military from. So just knowing that I can have somebody to talk to or somebody that I can network with or somebody that can connect me to something that I need is been a really big relief for me. So, and we're not viewed as broken. We're definitely not. We, we have experience that we'll find, you'll find that a lot of, um, a lot of other students and even professors, people with PhDs just simply do not have. Um, so we have to harness that and be proud of that, tap into that in ourselves and, and um, learn how to express that. Yeah, so I would highly encourage other student veterans to reach out. I would say that our program today is a lot better than last year's and, you know, the year before, but we're always slowly progressing in some kind of way, so there's always room for improvement. I would really like for PAVE to be on every campus, if not every major campus of, of yeah, throughout the nation. Yeah. Great. Wherever there's a veteran, there should be PAVE. From where I've been to where I am now, I mean, it's been a huge, huge stepping stone. Um, I can't really put it, put it in a word to say it's been very, very helpful. Um, yeah, very, very helpful. <laughs>